The official Tesla account ain't messing around, posting this on X. Point of view, you just bought a car that can't drive itself. I think on board there we see a few automotive analysts. And the official Tesla account wasn't done. Posting this video with some highlights from a seven hour road trip where the Tesla did all the driving. And when I say all the driving, I mean all the driving. The entire trip, over 350 miles, zero interventions. Not a single hand required on the steering wheel. Not a single foot on a pedal. I'm going to say that again. More than 350 mile trip, San Francisco, the Bay Area to Los Angeles. Seven hours in the vehicle, over 350 miles, zero interventions. Do you understand? Heading to some of the comments on X, Diving Monk writes, FSD just took me 10 hours from Austin to New Orleans, including stopping to charge and back. Zero disengagement. Of course, some of the Tesla Q virgins are not impressed. This from David, who, based on these grayed out things, I presume I'm part of the Tesla Q block list, who says, wasn't this supposed to be LA to New York like six years ago? Imagine my shock to discover one of the Tesla Q virgins who obviously has me blocked without ever interacting raining on Tesla's parade. This is a phenomenal example of what the technology is capable of doing. A seven hour road trip, zero intervention. Well, wasn't this supposed to happen sooner? <laughs> Who cares, bro? It's late. Another comment here. I do about 150 miles three to five times a week without ever touching the steering wheel. Roughly 15,000 miles this year so far. It is 100% a game changer. It appears another Tesla Q virgin has been discovered in the comments. Literally a driver in front of the wheel. Unfortunately, Dominic here failing the IQ test once again. If the quote unquote driver didn't at all, at any point during this seven hour trip actually drive the vehicle, then who or what was doing all of the driving? I was expecting to see a few Tesla Q hashtags, but no, all we get is COVID is not over. <laughs> oh shit. So look, I've got to say, you have to be retarded, right? Seven hour video, zero interventions. Somebody sitting there literally doing nothing. Uh, well, well, somebody was sitting in the driver's seat, therefore not, it didn't count. It doesn't count. I don't think it's possible to be actually this dumb. I, I think these people, it's just a form of seeking attention. Just act like a total retard. So people like me can say, what an absolute retard. Because that's better than nobody paying any attention to you whatsoever. The official Tesla account's been on quite a tear on X lately. All around autonomy. Check this one out. Get your own robot chauffeur with this one weird trick. Go to Tesla.com. Place order for vehicle of your choice. Purchase or subscribe to FSD Supervised. Take delivery. Congratulations, you now have a robot chauffeur. Don't tell Big Auto. Wait, did somebody say Big Auto? Perfect segue to this four minute video from Ford explaining how they've just discovered the magic catch up to Tesla button. Sort of ish, maybe. That's kind of where we started to figure out, hey, maybe we could actually build the vehicle differently. Traditionally, all the way back to the Model T, vehicles are built on an assembly line. It's one straight line, and you just bring all the parts to the car, and the line continues to move. Been around assembly lines for 21 years, and they're built the exact same way, and the same problems are always there. Um, for me, <laughs> wiring is always this nemesis, and if you don't change that input, then nothing else is ever going to change. There were tons of doubts. Teams would come back and say, well, you're gonna fail here, you're gonna fail there, you're gonna fail here. We came up with the Ford Universal EV production system. So it's more of a tree formation. So breaking up the vehicle into three different sub-assembly lines in parallel. And what that's actually doing is shrinking the overall time to go from start to finish with fewer stations and coming together seamlessly. And because of those modular sections, there's no obstruction. You have did somebody say modular manufacturing system? What a profound innovation. Maybe they should tell Tesla about this modular manufacturing system. In fact, maybe Tesla could then invent a time machine, go back in time, and then present this idea to the world before Ford. Hey, what do you know? It turns out that Tesla did actually invent the time machine, go back in time a couple of years ago, present to their investors and the world their modular manufacturing system. Front of the vehicle, the rear, and the bottom, three major components, saving time and improving the manufacturing efficiencies, thus dramatically driving costs down. Yeah, check it out. This is crazy. Tesla literally invents a time machine, goes back in time, and then somehow live streams an event on the 2nd of March, 2023, more than two years ago. And remarkably, I've, I found a section. It's kind of giving me a bit of deja vu. 
goes a little something like this. So we have to solve them together, which is the best way to innovate. The traditional way of making a vehicle is this. You stamp it, you do build a body in white, you paint it, and you do final assembly. And what's interesting is these shops are dictated by the, the, the organizational structures that exist. And they're... Dude, I, I swear, the deja vu is uncanny here. I mean, is it just me? The Ford presentation, which obviously Tesla copied and then went back in time and then broadcast a few years earlier, explaining that today vehicles are manufactured in a big ass straight fucking assembly line. Tesla's presentation via the time machine a few years ago, same fucking thing. And then obviously, next minute, hey, we've got a better idea, modular manufacturing system. I mean, you guys have all seen this, right? We don't need to rehash it. And I'm not trying to be a douche lord and troll Ford. I just wanted to point out the remarkable delay between Tesla showing the world in early 2023 their new modular manufacturing system to dramatically lower the cost to produce vehicles to increase the speed at which they can produce vehicles and importantly to also increase the density of vehicle output per square meter of factory footprint. Ford obviously would have seen this presentation and went oh shit that's a good idea let's copy it ASA fucking P to massively drive our cost down as well. And it seems to have taken Ford, give or take, two and a half years plus, shout out to Sandy Munro, some expert outside help before they've felt comfortable to unveil this brand new idea to the world. Now, keep in mind that Ford's a pretty old company and manufacturing vehicles is their bread and butter. Now, thankfully for Ford, according to the analysts, many traditional investors, there is in fact a magic catch up to Tesla button. Obviously in this particular instance, Ford, for whatever reason, decided not to press that button and cost themselves, call it two and a half years, give or take. But obviously they could have pressed the button and they just didn't want to. Because obviously, I mean, they're good at manufacturing, so it's not like they needed the button. But in the case of autonomy, an area outside their specialty, their domain of expertise, thank fuck for Ford that there definitely is truly a magic catch up to Tesla button when it comes to autonomy. So jokes aside, I feel bad for Ford. Their bread and butter, manufacturing, taking two and a half years, plus some help from Sandy Munro, or just to announce their intent to copy Tesla's homework from two and a half years ago. I thought there was a magic catch up to Tesla button that they could have just pressed, at least according to the traditional investors and money managers. But I guess Ford's waiting to press that button when they decide that now's the right time to catch up to autonomy. You know, who cares about manufacturing? We can do that ourselves and embarrass ourselves by taking a couple of years. No, no, no. We'll save that button. We'll only ever press that button once. When we decide it's the right time, to instantaneously develop our own comparably safe and capable autonomous software. Any day now, I'm sure they're going to press it. Don't worry, Ford's not going to go bankrupt. Also, could somebody please explain to me in the comments below why the official Tesla account very recently posted point of view, you just bought a car that can't drive itself with a picture of two people in a carriage that was pulled by a horse. I definitely don't understand. Thanks. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, it has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.